The fifth topic is on synthetic substitution. It's similar to division, but it's very simpler. So what happens is uh, we will come across synthetic division in the future stage where it's a particular method to find uh, divide polynomials with binomial. So only if there is a binomial, binomial is like this x plus 2 or x minus 2 or something like this. You're dividing a polynomial with this, then it's possible to do synthetic substitution. Now over here, you do not need to do that for now. All you need to see is what have they given? You have to do synthetic substitution to find f of 2. It's basically finding the function of x at the term 2 in the sense instead of x you're just putting 2 and solving. So this is one of the most easy and basic problem. All you need to do over here is wherever is the equation instead of the function put 2 first. It will be 2 squared plus 6 multiplied by 2. You do not need to use the brackets for positive, but I'm using the brackets now because I have to use even minus 1, right? So then plus 5. And always using brackets is a good adequate. It will much make it much easier and clearer when you're substituting. Now press equal to your answer is 21. But that is f of 2. What's the another answer? You need to find for f of 1. So negative 1, that is over here, minus 1. And over here to be minus 1. And that's the answer. 21 and 0. Same way you can solve all these problems. It doesn't matter if they are big or small. Now we are, let me do a big one. This one. It's, it's just going to take time. There's nothing else over here. I'll keep minus 1 as it is for now. I'll solve this first. To the power 6. Then we have minus 2. So it's minus 2 into minus 1. The whole power 5. And then we have x to the power 4, that is minus 1 to the power 4, plus again minus 1 to the power 3, minus 9 to the power, uh, to the x to the power minus uh, 2, minus 1 to the power 2. And lastly, we have negative 20. One thing I want to remind you is whenever you have such a big problem, do double check your question because it's very easy to go wrong somewhere in the middle. Okay, it's correct. And if you want, you can avoid this two signs, multiplication sign, sorry, because it'll give you the same answer. If you use the bracket, it'll be multiplied. And over here, it's plus x to the power 4, plus x to the power 3, minus 9. Over here, I can remove this as well. Or you can keep it. It's up to you, whichever makes it simpler or easy for you. Press equal to the answer is negative 26. Remember, I did minus 2. All I need to do cha is change this to 2 and I will get the next answer. I will just do it because it's already typed. Once you type one of the term, the other term is just very easy. Just you have to change it over here. So make sure you properly input the values. The entire equation must be accurate. Now I just missed the bracket. Okay, 2. And lastly, it's minus 20 and the answer, okay, I have done some mistake. So now let me just go back and check. It's very crucial to, to put each and every term correctly. Now let me check what is the mistake I have done over here. So you can see I have put minus 2 over here, minus 2 to the power 5. The negative remains when it's odd powers. See, this is, again, it's good that it happened. Now, please do not repeat the mistake, which I just now did in the exam. It's very easy to go wrong. Please double check your equation once you have typed it all in, and then you will get the right answer. So this is it. It's a very simple and very basic type of problem. All you have to do is synthetic substitution means whatever is given, you need to substitute. That's basically the remainder, which we'll learn a bit more in the coming uh, topics.